Guys, check this out. This is the amazing Korean shaved ice, one of the hottest desserts in Los Angeles. I never knew that shaved ice can taste so phenomenal. It's truly a dessert that you cannot miss out on here in the city. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Pasadena, a city full of a lot of great restaurants because I'm gonna be checking out a hot spot today. I'm gonna to be shifting gears a little bit and doing something I don't usually do, but I've been wanting to do it for some time. I'm going to be checking out a dessert shop for my channel, oh yeah. And I'm gonna be at one of the hottest ones that you can find in Los Angeles called Okabing, which is Korean shaved ice. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, in Korean, they call it bingsu, which is one of the most popular Asian desserts that you can find, not just in Korea, but also here in Los Angeles. It is truly the ultimate Asian dessert experience you can find here in LA. So if you guys wanna see this amazing Asian dessert that you can find here in LA, then you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so that you can see some amazing Asian shaved ice here at Oka Bing Cafe. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly. You don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now, and it's time to go in and check out that shaved ice. So to give you a little history about this place, the original location is in Koreatown. It's been there for a little over five years right now. This is the second location here in Pasadena, which has been open for less than a year, but both of them are rocking their desserts here in Los Angeles. And once again, Korean shaved ice, which comes in different flavors. It's big, it's beautiful, it's fun to eat, especially with a group. It's not a terribly big menu. What I think I'm gonna do today is get the mango melon, and for sure, injarmi, which is a specialty here. Got it, get it, and I'll show you in a bit what that is. And maybe a single size green tea, because I heard their green tea is phenomenal here, so I can't miss out on that. Roasted soybean powder. Most popular one here at Okabing. Okay, and that's the injarmi, right? Yep. yep, that is it. That's the powder, the magic powder that makes this dish. Once again, roasted soybean powder. So it looks like he puts the powder and then layers more of the ice on top of it. So does the ice have any flavor? It's a milk flavor. Milk flavor, got it. This is? Homemade strawberry puree. Homemade strawberry puree. Cool, cool. So that's the puree in there and some fresh milk. It's, uh, is this your only drink on the menu? Yeah. Yes. Believe it or not, this is the only drink that's on the menu, but I heard it's so worth it. Okay, of course, we want to ice it up. Yeah, it really is looking like a strawberry milk now. Three completely different selections, but I heard all of them are so good in its own way. So yes, these are three of the most popular flavors that you can find here in Pasadena as well as in Koreatown, LA. So let me show you some of the awesome choices I got here today. This is their most popular bingsu here, or at least one of two very popular ones. It's shaved ice, which is milk flavored. That's the injalmi itself. You see all the ground uh, soybean, roasted soybean powder. And look, it even comes with some red bean in the bottom. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at that. This is quite amazing. It's really got to be seen to be believed. The mango melon bingsu, which is honeydew all around. You see these little cute little balls. That's pretty nice. So it's gonna be nice and refreshing. Of course, the milk flavored shaved ice that's really towering above. But check this out. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Yes, this is the real fruit right here. No joke. And they do have individual sized servings as well. You can get green tea, strawberry, but guess which flavor I got because I'm such a green tea fan, just letting you know. So yes, this is the green tea shaved ice. And plus their special strawberry milk drink. And like I said, it's the only drink that's on the menu, but I heard it's so good, so you definitely need to get this. I want to drink this first. It's been a long time since I've had strawberry milk. 
Then again, when was the last time I've had it? I don't know if I've ever had strawberry milk before. Wow, that's so good. It, you know, it tastes just like milk and strawberry. It's uh, kind of sweet as well. Very milky. Oh, yeah. Milk never tasted so good in my life. If you're a sweet tooth, then yeah, you're definitely gonna like this, especially if you love strawberry. And by the way, they do provide this as well. This is pretty much the milk that you would pour over your bingsu. Yes, let's try this. This is the one I've heard so much about. And yes, I'm gonna get plenty of that bean powder on there. Has like a milk flavor to it. So that's the first thing you're gonna taste when you uh, bite into it. But then when you pour some of that additional milk over it, extremely creamy, rich milkiness. That injarmi itself is, how do I describe that flavor? It tastes very, it's like it's roasted, um, a little bit smoky. It tastes very earthly. I think that's the best way to describe it, but you really have to eat it to experience it. And yes, there are some of these little rice cakes or mochis that's all around the side. Mm-hmm. Wow. Guys, I'm having a fun time. Wow. Yeah, definitely that mochi is so good because it's so chewy. I love it. I don't know about you guys, but I really like that rice cake flavor. I'm, I'm a total rice fan. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is like a total Asian dessert. Red bean is used even in a lot of Chinese and Japanese desserts as well. No different in Korean, Korean food. It is so good. Yeah, that honeydew looks so delicious, huh? You can eat it however way you want. I would say, whoop. <laughs> yeah, it falls off pretty easily too, so you gotta be careful. See, here's the thing that you notice about, especially a lot of these Asian desserts, is that you're gonna get the ice cream or the shaved ice, but then they're gonna put a lot of this fresh fruits on there as well, which makes it kind of healthy in some ways. So if you guys are a melon fan, then you should definitely get this one. Now me personally, I think I'm more into this one than this one because I just love the combination of flavors in this one. But this is also really good if you love melon, really. Like I said, they do have the individual size here as well. I love green tea, so I'm gonna get this. Now I'm gonna put my green tea to good use. Oh yeah, pour that syrup all over it. That is like green tea overload. And it's not even that sweet too. That's so good. Very strong green tea flavor. I really feel like I'm somewhere in Asia right now, whether it's like Japan or, yeah, like Japan, eating a really delicious dessert there. This in itself, I would come back just to eat this one. This green tea flavor is amazing. But then again, I am biased towards green tea to begin with, so that's why I like it. But if you come here and you get the green tea one, you're gonna love it a lot. Like a lot, lot. This is just so amazing. This is like my ultimate shaved ice day here, right here. You're probably wondering which one is my favorite of the three. I'm kind of torn between this because in some ways I wanna say it's this popular injalmi, which is a safe bet here. Everybody here gets it and I can see why. But then again, at the same time, I told you I'm a very big green tea fan. So this one is like, it's competing for the top spot. I don't really know what to say. These two definitely are really good. I mean, this is really good itself too. This melon, it just kind of depends on what you're more in the taste for. But yeah, I have not had such enjoyable shaved ice in my whole life. So if you guys have never tried a shaved ice before, the Korean version, get it. Because it's not like any other shaved ice. Like the Hawaiian shaved ice or the, um, even the snow cones, which we all know what it is, right? This is an experience in of itself. It's colorful, it's big, it's epic, it's tasty, good for groups. So if you guys wanna try some awesome shaved ice here in Pasadena, and also in Koreatown, then you gotta remember Okobing, which is really one of the hottest, ultimate dessert experiences that you can find in LA. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna just finish the rest of this off. But I wanna thank you all for joining in this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. And also comment on the section below if you've been to Okabing. I wanna hear what is your favorite flavor. Drop that comment. 
and also subscribe because more of these awesome food adventures are coming out in the next few weeks. I hope you have a rocking day today, folks, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.